So what would each party do if they did get into power? So one way we can think about this is using what we call the political compass and think about how each party works in relation to both social views and then also economic views. So before we do any of that though, it's really important to remember that New Zealand has a lot of parties in that MMP coalition system, which is why we don't really have the famous strict Democrat-Republican-American Democrat divide. Um, instead, we have a bunch of parties that are dotted around that political spectrum and are a bit more diverse. So let's think about first the economic parts of the spectrum. Um, and when we talk about the economic parts, we really will be using words like our left and our right um, a bit more. So of the parties currently in government, our most economically left-wing party is the Greens. Then Labour sits a bit more to the centre, just a little bit left of centre. National is a bit to the right of centre. And then ACT sits much further to the right economically. In Parliament, we also have New Zealand First, which sits pretty much smack bang in the middle, doesn't really lean either way, and it's why they kind of duck and dive from one side to the next. Then we also have our social views. This ties into what sort of decisions that they support by way of people's lives. It relates to issues like gay marriage or different types of equality, whether they should be worked towards at all and how much the government should be giving them support. Most of New Zealand's parties are all quite socially liberal. Even our more socially conservative parties are generally in favour of people being able to engage their rights and getting equality. The difference is just about how to get there. It means that even National and ACT, who are a bit more socially conservative, are quite liberal. The most socially conservative would be New Zealand First, but even they are not too vocal about their social views. There are a couple of much smaller parties who are really socially conservative. Parties like the New Conservatives, who are a bit louder recently and don't support the government getting involved in achieving social equality. But really, they're small and sit quite far apart from all of our other parties. And so, as a bit of comparison, the US left-wing party is the Democrats, kind of like our Labour. But because the US is massive and they only have two main parties, the Democrats encompass politicians who would be with Greens, they would probably be Labour, they may even be and draw from a large part of National. They are both socially progressive and economically left compared to the other American parties, but basically all of New Zealand's main parties would largely align with most of their views. So on the other side, the US's main right-wing party are the Republicans. And although there are some economic policies that they would overlap with in New Zealand, they tend to be more socially conservative than New Zealand's national and all of New Zealand's major parties. We don't have too much that would overlap, so it's just really hard to be making our comparisons between the US and the and New Zealand system it's not the most helpful, so just be a bit careful when you're hearing things like that. So hopefully now all of you all have a bit more of an idea on what we mean when we talk about left politics and right politics, when we talk about social policies and economic policies and just like socioeconomic things in general. And also hopefully you have an idea of where each party broadly aligns on each of those views. And whether you're voting in this election or the next one, we hope that this video has given you a bit more information and giving you insights on where you sit on the political spectrum. Thanks for coming along to the Study Time Domestic Civics video, and I hope to see you soon in the next one. I hope you enjoyed that video. It's part of our course on New Zealand government and politics. If you want to check out the whole course, absolutely free, go to studytime.co.nz politics.